Hey friends, Erica here. I just wanted to take a minute and share with you a way that you can turn these little thread bits that you might have tucked away in places like an ort jar, something like this, into something really beautiful to put on your Christmas tree to give as a gift. It's a little memento. Here's what I like to do. First of all, I just showed you. I keep my orts in this little glass mason jar and this is all of the thread from just this year, just 2020. And it's like reasonable amount, right? I save every thread bit for every project and I have a little like whip, like a bag inside each whip where I put the threads. So at the end of the project, when it's done, you know how rare that is for me, but when it's done, I put them in this jar and I wait. I wait for December and December is finally here. So let me show you what I like to do. I like to make dun, 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 Ort Jar Ornaments. Can you see this? I am going to teach you how to make this super easy, super inexpensive. And look, this one is from 2018. I have this little tiny cute charm on here. Well, of course it's not working. Let me show you. Here. Ta-da! 2018. And ta-da! 2019 upside down. It's fine. Everything's fine. Anyway, so let's uh, go over this. It's going to be a quick video. I just wanted to share with you in case you also hoard tiny bits of thread and want to do something with them. So I like to get the, this ornament is plastic. Don't want a glass ornament. That's just not my jam. You know, I have two little kids around. It's not going to work for me. So I like to visit the Dollar Tree. And I like to get this two-pack of DIY ornaments for one dollar, which makes these really inexpensive. And, so I have my ornament, I have my ort jar, and I have somewhere lost in my cavernous craft corner that I'm in, these little um, charms. I have my 2020 charms now, too. I actually just gave the girls each an ornament with a ribbon and a charm so that they could do this. Um, I don't think all of them saved their thread bits, but so here's the 2020. Ta-da! Okay, so you want to put this on your tree, right? Yes, of course you do. So here it is. I like to start by choosing some ribbon, and I have this little three set of ribbon, and I did white and green for previous years, so I'm going to go with red this year because why not? These are not fabric scissors, in case any of you are sewists and you feel strongly about that. I do. I just have this little ribbon, and I'm going to put it in the hole of this charm that I purchased. Uh, I purchased these from on Etsy uh, from DIY Supply on Etsy. Just a few dollars um, to get a handful of them. And of course it's not going in. Come on. This is where, you know, maybe editing is involved here. I don't know. Probably not. Oh, we got it. Okay. Okay. So, so I feel like this might be a little shorter than I meant to have it be. But that's okay. And I'm going to tie it, put it around this little loop of the ornament. Ta-da! And just tie a little knot. This is really like the most simple, the simplest possible way to use your orts, I think. What do you use your orts for? Can you tell me in the comments? Because I don't know if there's another purpose for them besides looking beautiful in a jar and then looking beautiful on the tree. Because really, like, these do look really nice on the tree. Because there's like a ton of different colors in there and they're kind of, you know, it's really cool. I really like putting it on my tree. I think it's awesome. You're going to like it too. So then I tie a little knot at the top. It's nothing fancy. I don't even use a hook to put this on the tree. I just literally put this over one of the branches. Ta-da! Pretty. Okay. And then to actually put the ort threads in here, you want to take off the top. Just so, there we go. Ta-da! Ta-da! And then, as gracefully as you can, 
you're going to shove all this thread, which sometimes maybe you want to have something to push it in, I guess. But yeah, look, I have this little pushy doodad thing. So I'm just going to use that to help get it in there. Maybe. Oh God. In my mind, this was going to go really, really smoothly, but no. Nothing ever can, right? Anyway, the reason I like to do this is because then this kind of is a visual reminder of the stuff that I finished in the year. Because I can kind of tell you, like, there's a... Oh, like, oh, there's this pattern. I remember using this color combination with that because, you know, they're all kind of in there together. It's kind of bright, right? I like it. But don't worry. I also finished the spooky sampler from the Frosted Pumpkin this year, so there's a heck of a lot of black going in this bad boy. Because the whole border is like like black and gray, and ooh, there's some Christmas happening there, see? Must be, right? Red and green? I don't know. Anyway, so when you're doing this, you got your ornament from the, or the ornament tree. No, no, the Dollar Tree. I'm. It's late. You know how, how I am. And you just fill it up. <laughs> Easier said than done, right? <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Okay. So you're filling it up. Da 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 da. Okay. Anyway, you get it all filled up. I'll fill it, finish that in a minute. And then you pop the top back on, and you have the little year thing here, and you have some. Pretty classy little ornaments. Now my one from 2018 is extra full because I just decided to do it like at the very end of, I start, decided to start saving my threads at the end of 2017 so I barely had anything. So I used the tiny bit from 2017 and then the rest of 2018. So it's maybe a little bit more full than the 2019 one. In any case, you tie your ribbon, you put your charm, bada bing, bada boom, there you go. Now, I want to make this easy for some of you to do this project, and I have a few extra charms, so I want to give some away to you. I'm going to pick five people um, domestically, please, probably, because then I'll just like throw this in the, an envelope with a stamp on it and mail it to you. So five people, what I need you to do is, or I would like you to do, let's be nice, is say what your favorite ornament or holiday decoration is in the comments below and but use the word ornament don't say giveaway or anything like that um and then I'll mail it to you and you can make your own you can make your own little thing I'm gonna mail you a little charm and you can make your own fort jar ornament and then we'll be twinsies and it'll be great um anyway so thanks for taking the time to hang out with me I had you know I had fun showing this to you. I thought it would go, again, much smoother than it did. But, you know, um, such is the way. So, make your Oort Jar ornament, hang it on your tree, and remember all the cool stuff that you stitched this year. Now, uh, in the bottom, of course, I have all of the information. If you want to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, that kind of thing. Um, you know, all our promo codes are down there. Black Needle Society, Caterpillar Cross Stitch, Frosted Pumpkin... Uh, if you want Sips Bee boxes from the Kristen and Aaron, they have codes to share. There's so many different things that we can share with you and we want to share with you because we love you and think you're awesome. And I love you and think you're awesome, so I'm going to give these to you. So um, remember, oh, I just dropped one on the floor. It's fine. Um, say favorite ornament. Don't say the word giveaway. Comment below and I will send these out. Choose a winner in a few days and send them out. All right. Take care, you guys. Have a good night.